Well, I don't know um, if any of you saw, but my co-host here really likes a controversy. Did anybody see what Matt Mayo had to say about Sam Darnold last week? You're going to throw me under the bus. I'm going to ad lib here. It was something like Sam Darnold's the best thrower of the football in 49ers history. No, I said in the history of the universe. Oh, yeah. He went up himself. Uh, he said something along those lines. Uh, what are your first impressions of Sam Darnold and, and what he looks like? I mean, I don't think that's a um, big controversial <laughs> statement. I mean, Sam is an unbelievable thrower. He was born to do that. I mean, I think Jimmy's one of the best throwers on the planet I've ever seen. And the way he can do it, I don't think he gets enough credit for that. Um, but you want guys who are like that, but most guys are in the club in terms of there's only a few people on this planet who can throw at the level that you need to throw at to succeed in this league. And then you have the guys who are usually some higher draft picks who are put ahead of them. Sometimes it's for their elite arm ability, sometimes it's for their elite athletic ability. Sam is one of those guys who can throw like that. That's why Jimmy was a second round draft pick coming from Eastern Illinois, because he was such a gifted thrower. And then it's how do you play after that? And there's so many things that go into that that have nothing to do with your ability. Your ability is God is here. Now it has to do with timing, eyes, how you move the pocket, how you can react, and how do you judge that? They'll say it's a test. They'll say, like, I've had guys with highest IQ ever who can't play. I've had guys with low IQs who really can play. Like, it's, there is no absolute in anything. You have to have the skill set um, to be at this level. But then it's how do you play football and what makes you move the chain? And everybody's a little bit different. And, all you can ask for as a coach is guys who are in the club, and when you get a guy like Sam, in the situation we got him, I mean, I truly see Sam talent-wise as a top pick in the draft, just like he was. And you watch his whole career, and there's no reason to think differently. Um, he hasn't been in the best situations and stuff, so that's why I'm glad to have him here, and I'm so glad that he wanted to come here, because he could have got um, gone to a lot of other situations and probably made a lot more money, because Sam is at that level. Um, but he wanted to be in this situation, and that's so good for us because we still are trying to figure out what is going to be our health situation when it's said and done. And I do believe we have three quarterbacks talent-wise who are all capable of being franchise-type quarterbacks, but that's just capable. Um, there's so much more else to it. There's a lot of guys who have been capable. It's how do you play and how do you win games, and um, Brock's done that in his eight. And we have two other guys on the roster who we strongly believe can do it also. Did you tweet that out already? Yeah, that yeah, Kyle Shanahan yeah. backs you up? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be out there tonight, you can count on it. <laughs> uh, 